Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly update with Chuck Mayer. There is a whole fish shipment that hasn't come in yet, and I am here now. So I'm gonna show you what has come in so far. Kara is gonna pick it up and take it from there and show you all the new stuff that came in while she was here. So hang tight, we're getting ready for fish. First thing I wanna say is a lot is happening at Fishy Business as it usually is this time every week. There is a lot of stuff going on and three different saltwater shipments coming in this week, two different freshwater shipments coming in this week, and a lot of new stuff. So let's go take a look at what's here. Okay, so freshwater that came in this week, uh, first part anyway, got in some really, really, really cool, very small uh, bristle nose plecos, both in regular and albino for your pleasure. We also got in five more, no, two, four, six, six more of the Red Laser Neon Wapoga Rainbows. This is the new rainbow that was just newly discovered. And uh, if you're a fan of rainbows or like that kind of river type tank, these are must haves to go with your collection. They color up beautifully. Uh, and I mean, they're great fish. These African butterfly fish that came in, I love butterfly fish because they're incredibly ornate. Even though they're only a brown and beige color or, or a black color, uh, they, they hang on the surface of the water. They're almost like miniature arowana. They have very ornate fins, pectoral fins, and they, they're cool also just because they stay along the surface and bring your eye up to the top level of the tank. They are really, really cool in a species tank where you've got other mid-level swimmers and you've got bottom-dwelling catfish. So, very cool fish there. Black Phantom Tetras, one of the hardiest tetras there is. Great for cycling aquariums, great for schooling, great just to have that ornate bunch of really cool tetras in a tank. Great size Bela Sharks. If you want, if you want to make a school of Bela Sharks in just about any size tank, except real small tanks, I've got them at the perfect size to start out. You can have a group of these guys they add a lot of oomph to the tank, just because they do look like sharks a little bit, but they are a great fish nonetheless. I got in this gorgeous ghost crayfish. A uh, beautiful, all bone white crayfish. Really, really cool. Will get smaller fish if it can, but if it's in a large enough tank, it really makes a statement just because of the absence of color that it has. Very, very cool. Now I'm going to take it right now and turn it over to Kara for all the new stuff that came in. Hey guys, let's look at some more freshwater fish that we got this week. I'm actually calling this week the week of cichlids because the bulk of my order was cichlids, like 80% of it. So I'm not going to go over each individual type, I'll just show you a couple clips of each. But mostly African cichlids, I also got some Geophagus and some Young Crevenses. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting that for a while. Finally got my hands on some. And then there's some really amazing peacock cichlids in the back. I was finally able to get betas this week, so if you're looking to get a beta, come in and get one now. They're not going to last long, and I pretty much built up this whole system with some really nice betas. And of course, for pond season, I've restocked all our koi and our goldfish. We have butterfly koi, uh, standard koi, a bunch of shabunkins, sarasa comets, and pond comets. So that's about it for freshwater. I actually got a lot more than what I showed you, but you'll just have to come in and see it. So let's move on to saltwater. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to push Gracie out the way because she's been difficult today. I'm good. And, uh, Baby fish is the word for the first part of the video. We got in some beautiful little baby fish. We got in the Cortez Angel, which I have one of these at a service account here in town that's much, much bigger. This is a beautiful, beautiful angel fish. Oh, and the passer, obviously, who wants to come follow my finger right around, this is a, this is a baby passer fish. It's probably one of the hardiest of the adult or larger bodied angel fish. Uh, it's a fish that's in, that uh, comes from the Cortez Sea, the Sea of Cortez, uh, off the coast of Baja in California. And it is an absolutely gorgeous fish. It does get fairly aggressive the larger that it grows, but its aggressiveness makes it very hardy. It goes well with trigger fish and other types of fish. So if you want a really gorgeous, gorgeous angel fish, uh, passer, and this is a great size to get one started. I also got in a tiny little clown trigger. Uh, 
As expensive as clown triggers have gotten over the years, this is a very affordable way to start a clown trigger. It's a very long-lived trigger. It's probably one of the most ornate triggers. Balistoides conspiculum. And uh, look it up. It's a great fish. I also got the Stars and Stripes puffer, which we don't typically have. Some very, very small porcupine puffers, which actually got me started keeping saltwater fish in the first place. Uh, sold a Captain America 28 comic book just so I could buy my first fish tank. So anyway, that was 35 years ago. <laughs> um, Potter's Angel from last week. We did, nobody bought it. Uh, this is one of the prettiest fish we got in. It's a dwarf centropygia angel fish. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. So that's a possibility. One thing that I want you to pay close attention to and watch is the 300 gallon tank. This is, you saw it last week briefly in the video being put together. Uh, we have totally redone the 300. And we are getting it all ready and Guy has promised to overfill it with corals here in the next week to two weeks. So you want to definitely watch this space. We've got two separate types of lights. We've got red sea lights on one side to kind of show you the spectrum with those. We've also got uh, Ecotex on the other side to show you the spectrum. And so you can kind of get a balance of how different lights look and what lights you can purchase. So uh, 300 gallon, it's gonna absolutely look drop dead gorgeous when we're done. Okay, so uh, we've also got a bicolor angelfish right here. Also got in some of the lightning maroon clowns. So that's what's in so far. Gracie's gonna pick up from here and show you all the new saltwater fish she brought in this week. Hi guys, I'm Grace. I'm gonna be showing you guys the rest of what we got in this week as far as saltwater goes. Um, so here we have a fox face. So they're good for grazing in a reef tank. They get about 10 inches. Um, they're also venomous, so be careful when you have your hands in the tank with these guys. They swim pretty fast and they're real all over the place, so you gotta be a little careful. Copper band butterfly. And these guys are beautiful. They've got gold and white stripes, a little black dot very back of them. Um, they're good for eating Aptasia in a reef tank, um, although sometimes they can get a little confused with some corals, so you know you want to be a little cautious. Um, the next guy I've got is a tassel file fish. Um, they get pretty big. They can get almost say, 10 to 12 inches. Um, they definitely eat shrimp, um, snails, hermit crabs, any, any of that stuff they can get their hands on, so maybe a fish only tank. Yeah. Um, Banneras. So these I don't have very often um, because they get very large and actually I, I don't recall ordering this but he's here so um, they get about one, one and a half feet. Um, again not really a reef safe one. Um, eats inverts and stuff so again fish only but they're really cool looking. He's got gold, black, white, gray and he's kind of got a little bit of blue around his eyes so he's kind of neat looking. Black frogfish never actually had one of these. I get frogfish often, but not a black one. These are really nice. All right, guys, so that is uh, pretty much it for the main system out here. There, there is more, but you got to come in and see the rest of it. And there's a lot in the back as well. Okay, so that about wraps it up for this week. Kara's going to be coming at you with the next video that will have a detail on harder to keep live plants and some things about that. And our good buddy Richard is going to have a testing video to show you all about testing for both salt water and fresh water. We'll probably do fresh water first and then maybe salt water or a combination. Uh, so those videos are coming your way as well as the grind. How about give me some feedback, let me know what you think. Again, we're asking for people to send us pics of their tank so that we can show it on the video and show other people what you guys are doing. Uh, thoughts and things that you may have, you can send that to us via Facebook. And I hope you have a great week and God bless.